Gonna be shooting the Glock 26 Spear Gold Dot Hollow Point. These are 124 grain Gold Dot Hollow Point standard pressure. Gonna compare the water jugs to the gel block and see if we get any difference in what the difference is. So let's set it up and go. Up first is the gel block. We're gonna shoot it with the Glock, see how it goes. Try not to hit that HST that's already in the block. We're about three yards away. Here it goes. Oh my, what have we got? So, the gold dot hollow point hit here. Here's your entrance. Path runs here. And it looks like it exited the block. It looks like the gold dot actually exited the block. So, huh, that's interesting. Let's see if we can find it down range because it had to have been going pretty slow. No sign of it, so we're going to take another shot. Let's see if this thing will catch it this time. Here we go. All right, good clean shot. And, looks like it's all the way through the block again. We're Interesting. Gold dot hit again here. And here's the wound path. It's a good wound path. I mean, you can tell the bullet opens up. And it skirts right on out of the block. There's your exit hole. So there's exit number one down there. And there's exit number two right there. That is wild. Um, hmm. So, one block won't stop a gold dot hollow point from a 9mm. Interesting. That is a 16 inch block. So, let me show you guys that. It is a 16 inch block. So, you're getting greater than 16 inches of penetration. So, interesting. Five water jugs lined up. Five water jugs lined up. According to over 16 inches of penetration in ballistics gel, this should go through four and make it into the fifth. Let's see, maybe it opens up better in water. Here we go. Jeez, I am soaked. Wow. See what we got here. So, jug one, that's the exit there. And that's the entrance, so split open. Jug two is under the table. If I can get my finger on the handle there. Uh, entry wound and exit wound. Entry wound into jug three. Interesting. Hits the back of jug three and stops. Exact same penetration as the HST. in water but wildly different penetration from the HST in ballistics gel and there is let me zoom in our expanded hollow point our expanded gold dot hollow point so definitely doing something different in ballistics gel than it is in water so here's what we're going to do. We're going to try something. We're going to put a jug of water behind the ballistics gel and see if we can catch this hollow point. So here goes. All right, guys, this time I've got the ballistics gel. It is backed with a water jug. We're going to try one more shot. It's going to be on that right side again. and going to shoot low this time so the tracks can avoid each other. See what she does. Here we go. So, hit, for sure, I see my hit, may have skipped off the table, let's find out. So my hit was here, low, it's trying to hit about here, I aimed a little low, 
track looks like it's actually going downward oh and check that out didn't need the water jug caught it right there in the corner so that's interesting gonna dig that out at some point and see did it fully mushroom actually i can dig that out with my fingers right here it's so close to the bottom it's warm so there she is did she mushroom yes she did